face was ever Check and some fortune oh. cookies. And I don't mind this being on the recorder either. I believe that mom was allowed to know the truth way back when. She was never told the truth. Um, everyone went to court and said, you know, mom loves living there and yet every phone call she'd make. And you saw her too, she said she wanted to come home. We do not know what Carol told her before this meeting today. Um, and um, again, I cannot gaslight her any further. And I'm wondering why, maybe this only records for five minutes at a time. Um, Mom? Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> if anybody were to ask my opinion, for the record or not, I think for, for uh, party in question to be separated from all interested parties, and this third party, disinterested third party, interviews and determines what her wishes are. Mm -hmm. That is what I would say to any court, because whoever is with this person will have influence. Right. Whether it's you That's or, or her, whoever she's with will be able to influence. And so I think a third party would be the best way to determine what her wishes right. are. Right, a real third, independent a of the true, court. true, genuine, independent party. You want to read that? No, well, I don't want, no, I have another question for you. Okay. Mother, and you write this down, write your answer down. Have I ever abused you no. or neglected you? Answer that question there. Here, let me read here. My daughter Gloria is helping me. My, my daughter Gloria is helping me. Taking deep, helping me. These words are mine. So please, whoever you are, help me. Gloria is doing her best. As for Carolyn, I can't speak for her. As I need uh, uh, her, I need her to understand. I need her, I need both of them. And if Carolyn can't help me, I'm sure Gloria will. I need to have at least, at least one of my children with me. Gloria is willing and able to help me. Carolyn has a family who helps her. Okay. Have I ever, they told the court that I seriously abused you and neglected you. Have I seriously abused you and neglected you? Well, am you? I supposed to know this? 
Have I ever seriously abused or neglected you? No, you never abused me. Never, 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 never. But that's what they're telling the court. Well, the, they can say to the court anything, but they have to get it from me. They're going to have to ask me. That's true, but Tom is here because I cannot be left alone with you because they fear that I'm going to hurt you. Now, who's these they? Is Car it only Carolyn that's doing this? Yes. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's put it this way. The only thing I could say here is it seems to me like Carolyn is abusing me. By abusing you, she's abusing me. Abusing. A, B, how would you spell abusing? All of a sudden he's asked me and I can't think. A, A, B, U, S. A, B, U, S. I, N, G. Abusing. Carolyn is I abusing. really couldn't think of how to spell it. Me. You're under stress. Uh, I don't know what. Gloria? If you're going to give this to me, I don't know what to do with it, frankly. You know, I mean, I done. I, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with it. Me well. And so I, just to let you know, I well, mean, I'm. Then I'm I'll take it and I'll present it, you know, to the court. Carolyn has not. Please leave. Me, please leave me. Leave me, me. Oh well. Wait. Take a deep breath, Mom. But Carolyn has not. Please leave me alone. A L O N E. Gloria has done her best and I have, let's see, Gloria has done her best and I have no no complaints. And that's without your assistance. And, that and I have of, no parts complaints. Parts of this have been directed in my book. Parts of this are un undirected. It's undirected. Leave us alone. I I can ask her questions that she can answer. Sure. What else that, can that I is say? a form of direction. Make it short. But she hasn't responded. Leave to us that. alone. Okay. Who who is this supposed to be going to? Is there an attorney? An attorney, a judge. I don't know what else to say. I have no no complaints. Have Leave you, us have, alone. Have you mentioned anything about wanting to see your will? You what? Have you seen your will? Any time recently? I probably got several wills, and okay. all it says is goes, uh, my will all says goes to half no, and half of my daughters. No, That's all. Mother, in 2005, you wrote a will, and you cut me out of your will. Okay, so where is that will at? Ask Carol. Ask there. C -R -R -O -L. I don't think she Carolyn, did it. where is my... Will, I need it now, Mom. Okay, Mom, in 2005, you didn't know, I don't believe you knew, maybe you did, but I was cut out of your will. Carol got power of attorney over your property. Well, I can make another, uh, another one. Well, you did. But they won't let you f sign it because Carol said that you're incompetent. 
that your loony bin. Well, then how do I work this out? Then how do I tell them that I am competent? I need to get an attorney that's in my my favor, in my in my on my side. Now, who do I get that is competent enough? At, write that on a piece of paper. Then I put it over here already. But write what you just said now. Write what you just said. What you want right now? Because I didn't say it. To whom? What I it will do? I'm trying to play this role. Concern. I think I will let Carolyn know. What? What's the date today? Uh, Two twenty-eight. Two twenty-eight. Ten. Two twenty-eight. Ten. 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 There are two things. To I whom think I it may say. concern. Let's see, now how can I put that out? There were a number of subjects uh, approached that... Um, what, honey? Just write, Mother. What did you say before? Um, and I want to put words in your mouth, but you need to write down what you just were saying before about how you're going to maybe accomplish this, get some attention. Um, um, well, I, what if I say like this? To whom it may concern, it says already here. I need help from an ice outsider. There you go. I need the two things I would say, help say to be equal in this is that indeed Gloria approached a number of subjects that I think they probably would have preferred not being approached. Okay. But at no time did I see so that's it is what it is. The reason why I did not intervene is I did not see any any agitation. You, your mother seemed to be okay with this. So um, they will not be happy with the first part, but I permitted it to go on with, with some reluctance because I did not see your mom becoming upset or ill or anything. So I think that's what I was saying. Well, the importance of her knowing the truth and she can make her own decisions. Now, of course, they're going to say we're asking things of her that really are beyond her. And that's what I think they'll say. They'll say that, yes, she has some of her wits, but what you're asking of her is asking too much. I I'm, imagine. What I'm asking her is too much? To get an attorney to fight I didn't ask her that. I asked her what she, I said she had a right to an attorney. There's a big difference. I said she, had, by law, somebody had to say that to her. Well, and this is being recorded. By it's, law, it's, someone had a right to say you have a right to an attorney. Then that's been said. Okay. I don't know if the wherewithal is there to take all the steps involved here. But How do you spell opinion? O-P-P-I-O-N? One P. O-P-I. O-P-I-O-N. O-P-I-N-I-O. No, how do you spell? O-P-I-N-I-O-N. Yes, that's indeed. right. Two that's ends. right. See, she got it, and I... <laughs> so. See, they have positioned her as being so out of it that she can't comprehend things. Which I don't agree with. Okay. But, but to Everyone put the onus on opinion. her to... But that's it. But she's got I know. To. It's a, this is a very difficult... It's a difficult... It's a very difficult situation. Because I can't do anything. I know. You're in a very difficult situation. I'm, I'm agonizing here. But if, here. She, if she doesn't know... Yeah then she can't take initiative. Now, if she doesn't take initiative, then she suffers the consequences. And she'll probably go back home with Carol, and Carol will say, no, Mom, that's not going to happen. I didn't do that. And that's what's been going on in the past. Uh, that's, that's what will happen. So you're going to have this, this handwritten thing, and you do with the what you, you know, choose to do, but, and really, this is, this is agonizing for me to, to see the situation your mom's in, to see the situation you're in, it's just very, very difficult. I have asked Carol to mediate, I've asked her to mediate, I've asked her to mediate, I've asked her to mediate, and she will not do it. And the reason why she wants to sell mom's property, my property, and everything is because she needs to pay her legal bills. Mm -hmm. So, 
Um, I, 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 and yes, I have like I said, is I'll probably you'll tell her that, and I'll probably never see my mom again. Well, I, and I, you know, I'll, I'll like I tell mom, I realize that. Even with this, I would think that over time you will be able to see her no. again if you no. choose to. No, I will never again do this. Okay, let, let me read this here. And see okay, Mom. To whom it may concern, I need help from an outsider. My, my, uh, my concern is there is a problem with my two daughters. Everyone has an opinion. When I say half and half, money and property and anything I have, jewelry, exotic, home, furniture, money, clothes, animals, my dog, etc. E-T-C. That's what you want? That's what you want? That's it. Did you, did you say when that's I what say you When I say half and half, I meant money, yeah. property, anything I have, jewelry, Home, furniture, money, clothes, as had it, my dog, etc. Okay, Mom, and write this, answer this question and write it down. Where do you want to live and where do you want to die? My address is 6014 North Avondale, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Isn't that interesting? Let's hope. Let's hope. Whatever that means. Opportunity. And let's see. I have a, a, a cemetery already, don't I? Don't I have a yeah, place? But I'm a, yeah, you got a cemetery. Well, where do you want to die? Do you want to die in a hospital? Do you want to die in your home? I do want to live at 6014 North Avondale. Die. D-Y-E? D-I-E. 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 You know, the other day, I was writing something, and I put dying, and I put D-Y-I-N-G. <laughs> it was, had nothing to do with this. Yeah. Die at home. Why? Nothing to do with this. And I read it. What else do I want to do? Die at home. What else do you want to do? Live at home. Um, and I never caught it. Hmm. And Live at my home, the sixty fourteen North. I am making mistakes like you can't believe. So you can imagine her, Chicago. But if she was able to sit down with an independent somebody that hasn't had any part of this, home. Live at my home, sixty fourteen North Avenue. I would accept anything that they said. But it's, it's what I'm perceiving is undue influence from any party could easily be put upon. It can be because she loves both of us. Yeah. What, honey? Okay. I want to die at home, live at my home, 6014 North Avondale, Chicago, 60631. Do you want Carol to sell your home? <sighs> my home is to be split in two. Right now, do you okay. want Carol to sell your home right now? No, no, I don't want. And I, well, she'll they'll ask me how I know that it's going to be sold. Has there ever happened? That's it. Okay, what's your phone number? I'm to live at my home as long as I'm alive. That's what you put down. See, because she can't comprehend. You notice that she she ascertained it. As you said, I think having a... a Independent. A, yes, I think that would be a lovely thing to have happen. And that's all I've asked for. And if she said, I want to stay at Carol's, mm -hmm. sell the home, do all the stuff, mm -hmm. I would say, fine, Mom. But it ha can't be these guardian no, at Leiden's. Now, what, 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 what do you think I should do then about the home? Okay, I'm saying, I want to live in my home as long as I'm alive. Okay. Uh, anything, Mother, I can't tell you what okay, to say. I know. And, and, I know. When, and when you've passed on, Mary. My mom. Okay. okay. And this is being recorded so everyone can hear what Mike's saying. I will honor. Be split in half. Whatever, Mom. Oh, 
if she sat down with an independent attorney. Oh, wait a minute. Being that you're living there now, I think I should make a different, oh, yes. a different uh, thing in there, living. That you are to live there as long as you're alive. Well, or... Uh, Mother, put down, put down whatever you want. Okay, that's what you want to put down. I'm to live in my home as long as I'm alive. My home is to be. I forgot what the hell I was going to say. Well, then, then cross that out. If that, you don't, you don't remember. I'm that. to live in my home as I, long as I live. Uh, and I will make this alive. clear to you. My home and is. If my to sister be did the same thing. Lived by, lived. It would be fine, if she, but she won't allow that. The hell can I put it? Put mom, whatever you put want. My daughter Gloria, as okay. long as she wants to live there. Fine, mother. That's what you that's write good. down. You could, you could, you could, you could have you, to be split if you want to say used that. Used and lived by Gloria. Now, regardless of how this plays out, long right. um, as she I'm not, wants you know, I'm not optimistic that you're going to achieve to your goals here, but you're, you've given it the shot that there. you wanted to give. You will be able to see her again if you question, want to. Question, question, question. I'm to live her, in my home as long as you I'm alive. See her again. My home is to be used I was and lived told by it's a Gloria privilege. Jean it Sykes as long as she wants to live A privilege which you there. can achieve. That's fine, Mother. That's fine. You write whatever you want. There's no reason why this has to be some... some I, I, won't, I won't do this anymore. Wishes. Because... After today, I'm never going to bring this up Our to her again. But, so you have meals with her where you don't bring it up. Just you talk about life and be together. Let's see. Live there. We'll My wishes it. are to be... How in the heck can I put that in? My wishes are to be acknowledged. That's fine, Mom. How do you spell acknowledged? That's a tough one. A. A. C. A. C. K. K. O. W. Uh, N. N. O. W. N O W. N O W. <coughs> w L E D G E. Very good, Mary. D acknowledged. Very good. Tom. My wishes are to be acknowledged. When I That's talk good. to her on the phone every day. Mom. And she says, I'm coming home, I want to be home, we're gonna to be together forever. I can no longer say to her, Mom, that's happening. And I know Gloria, on the phone, I've got recordings, I record all the conversations. To live there. Okay? My wishes I know are that to be if I said to Mom, Mom. Nice Mom. job. What else can I say there? I think you've done a that's very nice, very nice job. That's very nice. Do you want to just sign your name? Um, I don't want to give her hope anymore unless it's real. And the only way it's going to be real is if she gets an attorney. Okay. Mary Sykes Campobello. <laughs> Very good. Well, if they can't understand the Sykes, then they'll have to understand That's the Campobello. Right. That's right. Okay. So let's put this away. And again, Mother... You know that I love you very much. Of course. We love each and other whatever very happens much. after today, okay? Better nothing better happen today. That's true, Mother. But if something happens after today or Carolyn tells you something, Mother... Well, she can go to heck as far as I'm concerned. Mother? I'm going to say I made my will out and you have to abide by it. The home and anything I have left, if it's a pair of underpants, if it's a whatever it is that I leave, it's to go half and half. Half for you and half for your sister. That is all. M. G. Sykes Campobello Mary. Mary Campobello. Mom, let me just say something to you. And do you mind? I'm recording this, okay? So I have something to remember. What? That I love you very much. I, I, I have fought. I have put close to $100,000 into getting your rights. That you have a right to fight this. That okay. you, 
Okay, I've spent that. Okay. I, d I don't have any more money. Okay. Okay? Okay. So I can't fight anymore. Well, the property is half and half. Mother, it's not about the property. Well, it's about I, right now I'm saying it's half and half. Mother, none of this is about the property. This is about your wishes and having your wishes. You tell me every time we talk on the phone that you want to come home. You tell me every time we're on the <coughs> phone that you want to be with me. Okay. Okay? Okay. And... I tell you, oh yes, oh yes. Well, right now, you can never come home. Right now, you right now, unless you go and fight it, you can never come home. And you will never be with me. The judge ordered the other day that you can never come home. Now, the judge did say that if I give up all of my money to Carol, then you can come home. Oh, both here. That's the money what, is mine right now. It doesn't belong to you or to Carol. No, no, no. Right now it belongs to Carol. Carol has total control of your money, Mom. Carol, well, what, what can I do about that? Well, we that's what I you, thought I put it in both your names. Mother, mother, we're talking about your being alive right now. We don't. When you're dead, you're dead. We're talking about you being alive, okay? Okay. While you're alive, Carol has 100% control over you. Well, well, I never said that. But it makes no difference. Carol got guardianship over you because she told the court and she got doctors to say that you're incompetent. Well, why don't I get some doctors to say that I'm competent? Because when doctors. I sent a doctor over there, you um, were very confused. And we don't know if that was because you hadn't eaten or you didn't have your hearing aids in. Right, right. Okay? Right. But whatever. But they based it on a report that Carol talked to a doctor, said you'd never walk, you never, you never bowl. That's a you lie. Never. That's right. But that's what Carol told them, and that's what the court believes that well, you let's, hallucinate. Then let's get a, uh, an attorney or somebody that uh, uh, that will be in my, in my favor. Well, you need you need somebody that's going to talk for you, and that's all I'm asking. Okay. And if it's your wishes that you want to stay at Carol's and you never want to see me and you don't want oh, to... Oh, come on now. It's not my wishes at all. Okay. My, do you know that I had that nightmare last night? I know you told... Well, it was, it was a couple nights ago. I know you told me about it. You told me about it, Mom. She did. It's on tape. You had a bad nightmare? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And like I say, is I... It, it, this has got to stop, and I've got to get an attorney or somebody or somebody that's going to listen to me. I can't just get any, any, just anybody. I have to get somebody that's, that's knowledgeable as to what to do and how to do it and so forth and so on. So what do we do in a case like that? you got to keep asking, Mother. Now, who could I keep asking? I'm asking you. Mother, no. Mother, you're going to have to tell Carol. You're going to have to go to a church and talk to a priest you're going to have to you know I, I, I don't know I mean I can't we can't do anything mother you have to do it you're going to have to remember when you went to the fire station that one time and talked to the lieutenant when you said you needed help yeah okay you're going to have to go talk to somebody of authority well, but mother I can here go to the fire department and get talk to okay the but there's no fire there. department next to you now you live with Carol's house you're at oh Carol. really Yes, remember you're staying at Carol's house, and she's going to be here very shortly, so we're going to have to stop this conversation. Okay? Well, then what you suggest that I... Well, if I start to talk to Carolyn about you and her and so forth, so on, then she's going to know that I that I seen you. Well, she so knows. how should I... Well, you pick up a phone, and you call 911... And you say you'd like to get an attorney. I don't know. You pick up a phone, you know, um, you ask Carol to go to a church, and you go talk to the priest on your own. But, Mother, they have a documentation. They have papers that they're showing everybody that you hallucinate and have serious, you have Alzheimer's. That's what they're saying. Well, then i got to get an attorney, Gloria. So what, 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 what am I going to do? I, I, uh, what kind of money do I have? That I, I will, Mother, you won't have to worry about money for your attorney, okay? You won't have to worry about that. I wonder if somebody here knows of an attorney here. About three minutes. Okay, we have to stop talking about this now, okay? Okay.
But like I say, is, is there anybody here that owns this place here that uh, they have an attorney? Mother, I don't think so. I don't, <laughs> and I don't think, you know, I mean, it's, it's. Can you stop the tape? No. Do you want me to? No, I'm just at some point. I'm going to stop it right now. Yeah. It. Okay, Mom, do you have anything else you want to say? Because I'm taping this. Well, all, I, all I've said is that uh, uh, everything I have goes to both my daughters, okay. Carolyn and Gloria Sykes. And, uh, uh, and Mother, right now we're, carried, we're concerned about you being alive okay. and where you want to live and where you want to, what you want to have done. Well, where I want to live. I want to live where my daughter Gloria lives. That's where I'd love to live with you, if it's possible. That's what I want to do. Okay. Because okay. I know you can take good care of me. And uh, and as far as Carolyn is concerned, she's got her life to live. Okay. She's got her family and her life to live, and uh, and I'm living mine, and I'm living, I want to live with my daughter Gloria. Okay, I'm going to turn off this tape now, okay?